So good morning students. Today we will learn some questions based upon story problems of quadratic equation. So let's start the first question. You see here it's given the speed of a boat in still water is 15 km per hour. It can go 30 km upstream and return downstream to the original point in 4 hours 30 minutes. Find the speed of the stream. Okay. So let's focus on question first. Then we will find what will be the solution. You see here it's given to find the speed of the stream. So first our common point is we have to take x. So it's given to find the speed of the stream. Right. So let's take let the speed of the stream. Let the speed of the stream is equals to x kilometer per hour. Okay. Let the speed of the stream we will take as x kilometer per hour. Now you come to the point. Here it is given the speed of a boat in still water is 15 kilometer per hour. Okay. So it can go 13, 30 kilometer upstream and return to downstream to the original point. So what you will do? One thing. So here you see. So it will go upstream and it will return to downstream. So you see. First of all down. When the stream will go to downwards. So it will move very fastly. It means speed will increase. So it is 15 plus x. So speed of downstream, speed of downstream is equals to speed will increase now. You see if the stream will go up then the speed will decrease. If the stream will go down then the speed will increase. It will go very fast. Water will go very fast. So here we have to add very fast means what 15 kilometer. So 15 plus x kilometer per hour when the when it is going downwards. Now if it will go upward speed of upstream speed of upstream is equals to the speed will decrease now. Decrease means what? Minus you have to minus that means 15 minus x speed will decrease 15 minus x kilometer per hour okay now you see it can go 30 kilometer upstream and return downstream so here your distance is 30 kilometer okay so now you have to find the speed over now you have to find time taken time taken to go downstream time taken to go downstream is equals to we know yesterday we have we did one question distance equals to speed into time but here we need time so time equals to distance divided by speed here distance is 30 kilometer so 30 again you see speed of downstream is 15 plus x so 30 divided by 15 plus x hours okay next up downstream over now let's go to upstream time taken time taken to go upstream time taken to go upstream is equals to 30 divided by same same distance 30 kilometer it will go downward and 30 kilometer to go upward so distance is as usual 30 kilometer here what is there the, the speed speed of upstream is 15 minus x so 15 minus x time taken now so hours okay now this is the what we got from question now we will see what we have to do now you see according to question what we have to do you have to add the downstream time taken plus time taken to go upstream equals to how much it's given 4 hours 30 minutes you see here <clears throat> it can go 30 kilometer upstream and return downstream to the original point in 4 hours 30 minutes okay you see 4 hours is 60 
1 hour is 60 minute here it's given 4 hours means 60 into 4 is 240 again 30 minutes is there plus 30 so 270 minutes okay so total it takes 270 minutes so first you calculate the time total we got 270 divided by 1 hour is 60 minute 60 so 3927 326 so we got time 9 by 2 okay so what it will happen so according to question the stream will go upward again it will return downward okay so it will take 4 hours 30 minutes which is equal to now we bought 9 by 2 so according to question 30 divided by 15 plus x plus 30 divided by 15 minus x equals to 9 divided by 2 okay so 9 by 2 next we have to solve the equation now okay so let's see what it will happen so here we can take 30 as common so in bracket 1 divided by 15 plus x plus 1 divided by 15 minus x equals to 9 divided by 2 okay next to solve so that implies 30 bracket here lcm is 15 plus x into 15 minus x okay then in upper side 15 minus x plus 15 plus x equals to 9 divided by 2 okay next so that implies here you see minus x and plus x will cancel each other 30 is there 30 into bracket it means into 15 plus 15 is 30 divided by here you see a plus b into a minus b formula is a square minus b square here a is 15 a square means 15 square minus b square means x square equals to 9 divided by 2 so that implies here you see 30 into 30 is 900 divided by 15 square is 225 minus x square equals to 9 divided by 2 okay now you do cross multiplication so what it will happen so that implies 225 9 9 5 45 9 to 18 plus 4 22 again 9 to 18 18 plus 2 20 2025 minus 9 into x square is 9 x square equals to 900 into 2 is 1800 so now you bring the equation so here you see so that implies minus 9x square there so we can take it to right hand side so it will become 9x square equals to 2025 in its as usual position here plus 1800 is there we took minus 9x square to right hand side so it became plus 9x square here plus 1800 is there you bring to left hand side so it will become minus 1800 so that implies 9x square equals to 5 2 2 225 okay now now what it will happen you see now 9x square equals to 225 so x square equals to 225 divided by 9 225 divided by 9 okay so x square equals to 3721 3515 339 again 326 3515 x square equals to 25 now you bring x equals to plus or minus root 25 so that implies x equals to plus or minus 5 so x can 
cannot be x value cannot be negative now so it's given find the speed of the stream so we can take plus 5 yes now so here it will happen therefore the speed of the stream we took as x kilometer per hour here x is 5 so the speed of the stream is equals to 5 kilometer per hour this is the answer okay like this you have to find